Welcome to the Deso Systems 3D Experience Forum. I'm Daniel Newman, Principal Analyst at Futurum Research, and I'm excited to be joined by a very special guest. Andy Calambi, welcome. How are you doing today, and how's the forum going for you so far? Fabulous. I'm in Hollywood, I'm in front of a camera, I'm being interviewed. What could be better than that? Yeah, and, and this is all on the first take, too, yeah. and that's always great when you nail it on the first try, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we are in Hollywood, the, perhaps nicer Hollywood. This resort is beautiful, had a wonderful reception last night. I mean, really, what more could you ask for? Now, I, I did send pictures home just to make the family jealous. Do you ever do that? Uh, I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't, wouldn't do that? that? I wouldn't oh. be allowed to come home back. Oh, I do, th <laughs> I do that sometimes. So, so, Andy, tell me a little bit about what you do for uh, Dassault. Uh, in my latest role, um, I work as an evangelist and as a mentor and as a coach. Uh, I'm helping companies, I'm helping people, professionals make this new journey, what I call the platform journey. And uh, it's probably one of the most interesting jobs I've done in my entire career. I've been with Dasso Systems for 17 years, I've done a lot of things, but this is really the most interesting work that I've ever done. So, so talk about this 3D experience platform you're evangelizing. So you've, you've, you've had CEO roles inside of the company. You've led, uh, you know, geographic business units for the company. But this has gotten you really exciting, excited, right? So this platform, there must be something about it, something unique. Talk about why, a little bit more about why you're so excited and why you know, people should be paying attention to what you guys are doing. Well, Daniel, the industry is going through a tremendous transformation. It's almost an upheaval. Companies are, uh, CEOs in any of the uh, companies today are most concerned about how do they digitalize. And the digitalization has three aspects to it. How do they digitalize their products, make them more smarter, autonomous, etc. How do they digitalize their business, which means that how do they m remove friction. And how do they digitalize their consumer experience. How do they connect to the consumers and the customers digitally. The 3D experience is about all of that. We uniquely do the digitalization of the product development and the innovation process. We digitalize key value streams within an enterprise and remove the friction there. And we really enable the digitalization of the consumer experience. The reason why we called it 3D experience is because we wanted to start with the customer experience and work backwards. So you kind of gave us these, these three specific things that need to happen for a business to digitalize or digitally transform, depending on, on, on the vernacular. How? Give me the how, though. How are you doing it with, with your 3D experience platform? It is not easy. First, let me tell you that most companies are struggling with this whole digitalization. The younger companies, uh, the companies which are coming as startups, they find less of a problem, but the ones that are that our uh, legacy companies find it much more difficult. And let me relate to you with a personal anecdote. My daughter, she's 21, she's been trying to make me digital. So she said, you should start using Google Docs and Google Sheets. She doesn't touch uh, our traditional uh, office applications. And it took me a while to get there because I never understood what she was talking about. So this whole transformation in creating the digital mindset and then figuring out how do you drive digitalization step by step in different parts of the business, in engineering, in design, in manufacturing. Today you heard uh, there were some great talks from Honda, for example, which ta talked about digitalization of manufacturing. So it's a process where you need to pick which areas of the business will be most important for you from a high impact perspective, which areas of the business are most amenable to the change that digital brings in, where are you able to drive the transformation fastest? That's the process that we're going through with our customers. So, in my research, and I've done a lot of research on this topic, we found that technology is one piece. We actually identified up to seven different pillars for uh, digital transformation. A lot of them are people-led and people-driven. And, and, and this is a, maybe a little off script, but because of the work you've done, I just want to ask you, you know, in order to make these journeys happen, you need technology like what you guys are developing with the 3D Experience platform, but you also need to develop culture. Now, with these companies you've worked with and that you're seeing uh, implementing these, 
How are they getting the buy-in to all, you know, how are they kind of driving that buy-in for digitalization within the people so they really adopt tools like the 3D Experience platform? Digitalization is, drives at times uh, transformation of the role that people are doing. And usually all for the good, because people today, especially people who are working, are dealing with a lot of non-value added activities. They're having to manage data, they're having to manage stuff that they don't need to manage. It's not a part of their core job, but they still need to do it because, you know, that's the way uh, the, the siloed environment works. They're working in their respective silos and they end up doing only some part of the job. I want to give you a couple of anecdotes. Um, a great customer of ours, which is in the aerospace industry, digitalized uh, their entire lightweighting process. So they lightweight, it's an aircraft company and they lightweight their products. And what they did was they took away uh, their current, I, I would call them electronic systems because these systems are siloed systems. They do only part of the job and you need to move data from one to the other. They transform that into a full digital flow end to end on the 3D experience platform without any friction. The whole thing being done by apps instead of you know applications. In the process, they realized that there were three roles which were, uh, which were performing this job. There was a design engineer, there was a stress engineer, there was an optimization engineer. They created a new role called structure engineer. And they retrained their people. And the interesting thing was that they could train them in just three days because naturally it comes naturally to people. They do the job, but they're not able to do the full job and sometimes throw it over the wall to someone else to do it. And when they see that they can do the entire job, it becomes much easier. It's like, I don't need my assistant to call an Uber, right? So it's not that my job has become more complex. Actually, my job has become more easier. I don't have to wait for her to call a taxi for me or chase where the taxi is. It's, it's become frictionless. That's the digitalization process. It makes things much more easier and hence moving the users is much more easier. What is more difficult is the habits that people have, like I mentioned my own habit of using systems which were electronic and not truly digital, uh, to break them, break those habits take a little bit of time, a little bit of training, change management, those are the kinds of things that you need to go through. But I would say it has been much easier than what we thought, moving this whole to a new digital uh, framework. Yeah, these are great examples and I could probably spend hours kind of running through these with you, but. I'll give you one real takeaway that, that I had from this, Andy, and, and I'd love to spend more time off air talking about this with you, but is that when the, the experience makes people's lives better, they naturally adopt more readily, right? And so, because you kind of use a technology example, but some of the anecdote you gave really was that the people bought in to say a new role because they saw how it, it how it really helped drive the process and that's what we found too so it's it's great to hear that a company uh, like Deso Systems and what you're doing with the 3D experience platform is bringing to life digitalization digital transformation it's helping companies move into the future so Andy thank you so much for spending a little time here and have a great rest of your 3D experience forum thank you Daniel